Hello everyone, we are back with the Rams franchise, and today we have a game against the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field, but before we get to them, let's talk about another breakout opportunity for a member of our defense. This time it is for Jason Taylor the second. He has the goal today to help hold the Packers to less than 200 yards passing, or get one in one of those stat categories, and he will go up from normal deb to star deb. He is only a rookie, a 23-year-old rookie out of Oklahoma State, who the Rams selected in the seventh round, and he only made his first start in the NFL in our last game, but he already has a chance to increase his dev trait. In our last episode, Bobby Brown III, he had a breakout opportunity and he made the most of it and has gone up to star dev. We'll see if Jason Taylor II is going to be joining him at star dev, or if not after today's game against the Packers. Now, Nick Hampton, he will end up getting the start as one of our edge rushers opposite of Byron Young, which does mean that we will have two rookie edge rushers getting the start for us today. And Michael Hoyt, he will not be getting the start, but he should still see quite a bit of playing time. I would like to also get him involved a bit more as an interior pass rusher, especially on third downs. Joseph Noteboom has been out for a few weeks with a torn labrum, and while he has been out, AJ Jackson has been filling in, but it just hasn't gone the best. So instead of starting Jackson again, we will give the chance to Warren McClendon, a fifth round pick in this past draft out of Georgia. It will be his first start in the NFL, and we'll see how it goes for him. Pukunakua has gotten off to a great start in real life, but for us, he hasn't had much of a chance to do anything in this franchise, so we will change that. In today's game, he will be our number three wide receiver. Now that does mean that Ben Skoranek and Tutu Atwell, they will end up playing a lot less in this one, but that just has to happen in order for Pukunakua to get his chance on the field. The Green Bay Packers have gotten off to a good start at 5-2. They now have Jordan Love as their starting quarterback, who has been very efficient, especially considering he has done most of this without his number one wide receiver in Watson, who has been out with a quad tear. They have made some interesting in-season moves. They have acquired O.J. Howard, Devin Duvernay, Julio Jones, and of course Kyron Williams, who we traded to them earlier in the year. After we saw they had traded away A.J. Dillon to the Ravens, they needed a backup running back, so we sent them Kyron Williams. We'll see if he's able to make us pay for having traded him away. The Packers defense, it's not quite as good as the last two defenses that we have played in the Cowboys and Steelers, but it is still pretty solid. They rank 12th in points per game allowed, 8th against the pass, 9th against the run, and they do have a former Ram on defense as well. It is John Johnson III, who was one of our best players on defense. You could actually argue he was our best player on defense, and we traded him away to the Packers. We'll see if he's also going to try and make us pay. We will not have our starting center in Brian Allen, and we will also not have Ben Skoranek, so a couple of more injuries to deal with. That does mean that Antonio Maffi, he will slide over to center, and Logan Bruss will get the start at right guard. We were already planning on playing Pukunakua over Skoranek anyway, so that one doesn't hurt as much. But let's go ahead and get into this game at Lambeau Field against the Green Bay Packers. Jordan Love in Green Bay, starting with possession. He'll hand it off to Aaron Jones' right side, and there is Jordan Fuller making the tackle. It'll be a gain of seven. Second at three, a fake to Jones. Love will keep it right side. He's got a first down, and there is Fuller making another tackle. This time it's a gain of 11. So back-to-back -back runs. Here is a pass from Love. He'll hit Devin Duvernay, the former Raven, over the middle. It'll be a gain of six. Third down. Love against the Blitz goes down the field, and it's Duvernay again. And he's up to the Los Angeles 25, picking up 26 yards on the catch. Aaron Jones left side, he'll juke around and get pushed ahead, and they're going to give him the first down of the 14. So the Packers now in the red zone. Love to his left, he'll fire on the move to the end zone, it is intercepted by Jason Taylor the second, and just like that he has completed his breakout scenario. He has also helped keep the Packers off the board, and given possession of the Rams offense with a chance to take the lead here in the first quarter. A handoff to Cam Akers right side to begin the day for the Rams offense. He's got the edge and he's going to pick up 20 yards on the carry from the 40. Throws in the throw. He's running out of time. He's going to lob deep right side for Carter who's behind the defense. It is batted away at the last second. A bit of an underthrow from Josh Rosen. Now a screen left side to Pukunakua who has no blocking and it's going to be a loss of three. Third and 13. Rosen. Looking around, he's got nowhere to go, though. He'll be sacked, and that's going to bring up fourth and long, so the Rams are going to have to find a way. Green Bay with their second chance on offense. It'll be a deep ball over the middle, caught by Reed, and the rookie receiver is past midfield to the Rams 48. 
Aaron Jones on the carry, and there is Bobby Brown the third, stopping him in the backfield for a loss of one. Third and 11. Love back to throw. Illob left side is way out of bounds and incomplete, and the Packers are going to have to find a way. The Rams take over at their own one. Can they avoid a safety? Here is Cam Akers on the carry. He is brought down at the three, though. Give him a gain of two. Second down. A fake to Akers. Rosen from his own end zone. He's going to roll to his right. And he'll set his feet in fire and connect with Davis Allen for a first down and then some as he's upfield and tripped up finally at the 35. A huge gain for Davis Allen, the rookie tight end. Cam Akers on the carry left side. He'll be spun down at about midfield. First and sent from the 49. Rosen is going to check it down to Allen who makes a catch with some contact being put on him. He got to hang on to that one. He did. Second down. Allen makes another catch. He'll avoid diving defender and get tackled down at the Green Bay 28. Davis Allen looking really good on this drive. A toss to Akers left side and down he goes in the backfield. Back at the 30. Third and 13. Rosen backing up. He'll fire left side is jar loose intended for Davis Allen. He couldn't make the catch that time, and then I'll bring a fourth down. So on comes Tanner Brown, and he's going to put it right down the middle and get the Rams on the board and make it three to nothing. Green Bay starting this drive at their 25. It'll be another deep ball over the middle caught by Reed, and he's going to be wrestled down just shy of midfield. Time getting low in the first quarter. Love to throw. He'll lob right side and hit the former Falcon Titan and Buccaneer Julio Jones. For a first down at the Rams 39. Now Aaron Jones left side. He's got nowhere to go and is dropped at the line of scrimmage. Third and 10. Love backing up. Now under pressure and he's going down. He'll be sacked by Nick Hampton and Michael Hoyt. And that's going to bring up fourth and long. The Packers would have to punt away. A carry left side for Zach Evans to begin this Rams drive. He is up near a first and they're going to give it to him at the 40. Second and 10. Evans right side this time. He's got the edge. He's past midfield. And it's going to be back-to-back -back nice runs from the rookie from Ole Miss, Zach Evans. Second and eight. Rosen checking it down to the former Packer, Josiah DeGuara. He'll pick up a gain of a couple. Third and two. Rosen is going to fire right side. And hit Pukunakua, who has tackled that up to the 19, putting the Rams into the red zone. First and ten. Rosen. Checking it down to Van Jefferson, who will make the catch and pick up six yards on it. Third and two. Rosen, facing a blitz. He fires right side, and it's Pukunakua again. This time he'll get into the end zone for a touchdown, and the Rams are going to extend their lead here in the first half, going up two scores. Aaron Jones getting a carry left side. He'll get the edge and pick up a first down, and he's up to the 39. They go right back to him on the left side. He'll juke out Travis Hodges, Tomlinson, and juke out Jordan Fuller. He's also going to break a tackle. He does get injured on the play, but it's a great run from Aaron Jones. Hopefully he ends up being all right. First and 10, here is Kyron Williams, the former Ram. He'll pick up three yards on the carry. Second and seven, a fake to Williams. Love, he'll fire right side, and it is caught by Reed. He's tackled out of bounds a yard short of the first. Third and one. Kyron Williams, he's going to juke around, and he's met by Ernest Jones, and he's going to be stopped short of the first, bringing up fourth and one. And Green Bay is going to settle for a field goal. They will make the kick and make this a one-score game again. So 10-3 to three here in the first half. The Rams taking over at their own four with under two minutes to go in the first half. It'll be a catch for Nikhil Harry on a screen, and he'll pick up six yards. Third and two, Rosen. He's going to hit Cooper Cup, who makes the catch and is up to the 18 with a first down. Just 40 seconds to go in the first half. Rosen, he'll lob deep left side for Cooper Cup, who's behind the defense. He'll make the catch, and he's going to break away from John Johnson the third, his old teammate. And he will go 82 yards for a touchdown and extend the Rams' lead here wait in the first half. 17-3, the Rams in front. Green Bay does have all their timeouts, so... They probably want to try something. Devin Duvernay is going to make a catch, break a tackle, and get this one past midfield to the Rams 46. They will use their first time out. Now under 20 seconds to go. Love goes left side. It is caught by O.J. Howard, and he's down a yard short of the first. Third and one. Love is going to check it down to Aaron Jones, who spins off a defender, and he's up to the 32. 
And the Packers would end up using their last timeout, and they're gonna kick another field goal here to end the first half. They will make it and make this a 17-6 game, and that's gonna be the way we end the first half of our game. We'll head into halftime with the Rams on top of the Packers, 17-6. We'll see what happens in the second half. In the first half, I thought Josh Rosen, he played great. The pass defense was also pretty solid. I mean, the defense in general was pretty good. We did not allow a single touchdown, but the rush defense, it could use a bit of work. We did allow Aaron Jones to average over seven yards per carry, and he did have five broken tackles. Let's get into our second half. The Rams with possession. Here is Cam Akers. Left side, he'll break a tackle and pick up eight yards to open this drive. Third and two. They go back to Akers, and he'll fall ahead for a first down to the 36. Second down, Rosen facing a blitz. He'll check it down to Puka Nakua, who will turn up field, and he's down just shy of midfield with a first down. And a fake to Akers and a screen right side to Cooper Cup, and he's got some good blocking and breaks a tackle, and it's to the Green Bay 36 with a first down. A handoff to Cam Akers left side. He has no chance on the point as brought down for no gain. Third down, Rosen is under pressure. He's headed to let it go. It's going to fall incomplete, and that'll bring him fourth down. So on comes Tanner Brown to kick another field goal, and he's going to split the uprights and make this one as well and extend this Rams lead. 20-6 in the third quarter. Here is Aaron Jones on the carry. He'll break a tackle and cut this outside. He's past midfield, and inside the Los Angeles 30 before finally being spun down by Kobe Durant all the way at the 26. So a huge run to begin the second half for this Green Bay offense. Now Luke Musgrave, the rookie tight end, makes a catch for a gain of nine. Second it's short. Love checks it down to Devin Duvernay, who is going to keep the drive going, and he's up to the 12. So Green Bay again in the red zone. Aaron Jones is cutting around, and he's going down at the wide of scrimmage for no gain. Second it's 10. Love with time. He'll fire to the end zone in the heavy traffic and is bouncing around and nearly intercepted. It probably should have been. Third and 10. A fake to Jones. Love. Under heavy pressure. And he's going down again. This time sacked by Kobe Turner. That'll bring him fourth and 19. So Green Bay is going to kick their third field goal of the game. And they'll make this one as well. Making it 20 to 9. So a two score lead for the Rams here in the third quarter. It'll be Michael Carter left side. He'll break a tackle. And pick up 9 or 10 yards on the carry. Second and short. A fake to Carter. Rosen. Checks it down back to Carter who makes the catch and has a first down. And is up to the 42. Under 3 minutes to go in the third quarter already. A throw right side is caught by Puka Nakua who is making a great catch there on the sideline. A carry for Cam Akers. And he'll get the first down to keep the drive going. And take it to the Green Bay 44. Rosen. Under pressure, goes left side, and there was Carter making a catch and picking up nine yards on it. Third and short, Rosen against the blitz. He'll go right side, and there was Puka Nakua hanging on through the hit for a first down as Devondre Campbell is injured on the play. First and send from the 29. Rosen is going to take off, and he'll run for the first down and dive ahead, picking up 13 yards and putting the Rams into the red zone. Time winding down in the third quarter. Here is Davis Sound making a catch and going nowhere. Third and nine. The last play of the third quarter. Rosen throws right side, and he throws it right to Jair Alexander, who picks it off. It was really nowhere near a receiver, and Alexander is past midfield. He'll be chased down by Puka Nakua, but a big mistake there by Josh Rosen. Now in the fourth quarter, Love is going to throw right side. It is intercepted by Travia Sajis Tomlinson. So Jordan Love throwing it right back to the Rams. Here is Trevia Zodges Tomlinson past midfield. And down at the Green Bay 36, another great play made by the rookie cornerback from TCU. A chance for the Rams to extend their lead in the fourth quarter. Here is Rosen going down, though. He'll be sacked back at the 38. Third and 13, Rosen. He's going to dump a screen pass off to Michael Carter. He'll bounce it outside, and he is tackled out of bounds. A yard short of the first by John Johnson the third, and that'll bring up fourth down. So on comes Tanner Brown to kick another field goal, and he'll make this one as well and extend the lead. 23-9 in the fourth quarter. The Packers are going to start with a throw over the middle to Julio Jones, and the veteran receiver is up to the 44 with the first down. A check down to Aaron Jones, who will make the catch and pick up just... Four yards on it. Third and two. 
A handoff to Aaron Jones, and he's met by Malik Harrison and brought down by him and Kelvin Joseph short of the first as Kyle Phillips is injured on the play. Green Bay is going to go for it on fourth and one from midfield. It'll be a handoff to Aaron Jones. He'll juke out Jason Taylor the second. And there goes Aaron Jones all the way to the end zone. And we have ourselves a one-score game here in the fourth quarter. 23-16 in the fourth quarter. The Rams with the lead in possession. Rosen moves to his left, and he's going to scramble ahead for a first down and get tackled out of bounds at the 37. A handoff to Akers' left side. He gets a great block from Steve Avila. Is past midfield and jukes out a defender and is down at the Green Bay 44. Now first and sent from the Green Bay 28. Rosen slides left and fires deep over the middle. It is intercepted by his old teammate John Johnson the third. And the Packers are going to take over at their own 12 with a chance to tie this game up in the fourth quarter. Can the Packers do it though? Here is Love under pressure. He'll roll into his own end zone, and down he goes. He'll be sacked by Malik Harrison for a safety, and the Rams are going to extend their lead in the fourth quarter on that. 25-16, the Packers back on offense. Here's Love from his own end zone again. This time he gets a throw off down the field. It's going to be incomplete. Third and 10. Love is going to lob right side. He's got a man wide open in Devin Duvernay. He'll pick up a first down, and he's down at the 35. Green Bay getting ready to go in a hurry-up mode. Love is under pressure, and he's going down. He's going to be sacked by Jordan Fuller for a loss of 11. Love to his right. He's going to throw on the move, and he's going to be intercepted by Cameron Dantzler. And he's going to showboat his way into the end zone for a pick six. And the Rams are going to extend their lead in the fourth quarter. The Rams will go for two to try and make this a three-score game. Rosen. Lobs left side it is, caught by Cooper Cup, but he was out of bounds, so it'll be incomplete and stay 31 to 16. Even after all of that, we still have just a two score game, so the Packers have a chance to make something happen. Third and three, love to throw. He'll go left side it is, incomplete, and that's gonna bring up fourth down. The Packers obviously have to go for it here on fourth and three. Love from under center, he'll hand it off to Aaron Jones, who goes straight ahead, and he's gonna be stopped by Jason Tiller and Jake Hummel. It would be a turnover on downs. Unfortunately, the Rams offense would do nothing. So on comes Tanner Brown to kick a field goal. And he's going to make this one and make it a three-score game. The Packers would drive down the field with their backup quarterback, Sean Clifford, out there. He's trying to keep this game interesting late in the fourth quarter. He is going to be sacked, though, on second and goal back at the 11. They hurry up to the line. Now Clifford, he's going to lob to the end zone. It is intercepted by Kelvin Joseph. And that is going to be your ball game. The Rams are going to go on to win this one, 34-16 over the Packers. Really a great game all around by the entire team for the most part. Uh, the defense it did a great job, especially against the pass. We picked off four passes. We held them under a 50% completion percentage as a team. Now, the rush defense, it wasn't pretty. We allowed Aaron Jones to run for 156 yards on the ground. He broke seven tackles. He had some big plays. Jason Taylor, at least, he played great. And really, the entire secondary, they played great all game long. The offense, it had a great first half. The second half, not so much, especially Josh Rosen, who threw two interceptions late in this game, just like he did last week. He kind of just got bailed out, though, because the defense, it really stepped up, and so did the receiving core and their running back room. I mean, the offense was good, just not great in the second half. Jason Taylor... He played like a star, and he goes up to star dev. He ended up earning 10,000 XP, which means he had a ton of upgrades, and we have gone through those upgrades. He is now up to a 71 overall with that star dev. Still just a rookie, and I think he has really played himself into being a starter on this team, not only just the rest of this year, but maybe going into next year. If he's able to keep this up the rest of the way, he will for sure be our starting free safety. I mean, how can you... Keep him off the field if he keeps on playing like this. We are now at the bye week, sitting at 4-5 and five in third place in the division. And on the bye week, we decided to let our players have the week off. And they ended up getting plus 10 to their morale, but they will take a hit of minus 5 to their awareness for our next game. Well, on the bye week, I have decided it is time for us to go ahead and offer Jordan Fuller a contract extension. I mean, we may have already figured out what our... Free safety is going to be next year. How about we figure out what we want to do at strong safety and why not just keep Jordan Fuller? He leads the team in tackles and has been pretty solid out there. 
so we will offer him a two-year extension for $7 million in total, and he is going to accept and be a part of our future, and along with, hopefully, Jason Taylor II. We are also going to sign Cooper Hodges off of the Jaguars practice squad, a rookie out of Appalachian State. He can give us a bit of extra help there as a backup interior offensive lineman, and we are going to release Charlie Heck now that Joseph Noteboom has recovered from his torn labrum. We are at about the midway point of the season, so let's check out the standings around the league. Starting with the AFC East, the Bills may have lost two games in a row, but they have a pretty big lead in the AFC East. The North in the AFC is a pretty close division race between the Steelers and Ravens. Also, the Browns aren't too far behind. The AFC South is being held down by the Colts at 5-4, with everybody else being under 500. The AFC West is a tight race between the Chiefs, Chargers, and Raiders. On to the NFC, starting with the East, the Cowboys are on top at 7-1. They have won seven games in a row. The Jets and Eagles trying to catch them. In the North, the Packers are the only team above, above 500 with the Lions at 500 exactly. In the NFC South, the Saints are at 7-2. The Buccaneers and Falcons are trying to catch them. And in the NFC West, we have a tie between the 49ers and Seahawks with us in third place. With that out of the way, we now have some upgrades to get through and some things to talk about. Logan Bruss, he got the start at right guard, and he was okay out there. He wasn't anything special like Steve Avila at left guard, but he was fine. Warren McQuendon at left tackle, he got the start, and it was all right, but it wasn't great. And hopefully he can be a better right tackle if we end up needing him there. Josh Rosen, he really needs to stop turning the ball over in the second half, especially if he wants to be a long-term quarterback. I don't want to pay a quarterback big money, if he's just going to fall apart waiting games. Cam Akers, I know he got traded in real life to the Vikings, but we're going to be holding on to him for at least the rest of the year. We can't trade him anyway because we are past the trade deadline. Tutu Atwell, in real life, he's had a great start to the year, but for us, we've given him chances. He just hasn't really done much with them. He had one long touchdown earlier in the year, but that's about it. Nick Hampton, he, in his first start, he did get a sack or got a half sack, and he was pretty solid all game long. Jake Hummel, he was in on that uh, fourth down stop late in the game to force a turnover on downs alongside Jason Taylor II. Nice to see that he's still able to make some plays even if he is not playing as much as he did at the beginning of the year. Cameron Dantzler had the big pick six that helped us extend the lead in the fourth quarter. It's nice to see him playing well, and we were going to look at extending him. I mean, at the end of the year, his contract's up, so if we want to keep Cameron Dantzler, we're going to have to extend him. I just Tomlinson, He's been great all year long. Not much else to say about him. Tanner Brown, the last upgrade we had, he got some new is accuracy and power. It looks like we'll have another breakout scenario for somebody on our defense in the next episode, and we also have to take on the Seahawks in a big game. They are currently tied for the division lead, and we're right behind them. So we'll see if we're able to get closer to getting that division lead back, or if not, thanks for watching this one, and I will see you in the next one.